Do you find the regular old Joy-Cons a little small and crappy? I've got big hands and you know what they say about big hands. You're unable to hold the regular Joy-Cons comfortably. <laughs> If you guys have played in handheld for any extended period of time, then you know what I'm talking about. The Switch isn't exactly the most comfortable thing in the world. But luckily, there is a whole load of third-party Joy-Cons on the market to help alleviate this problem. The internet is saturated with all of these third-party controller alternatives, and they all vary in quality. So as someone who plays handheld a lot, I'm always on the hunt for some good ones. And today, we've actually got some. So before we start, we just wanted to give a huge shout out to Nixie. Thank you so much for sending us these bad boys for free so that we can review them for you guys. And we also just wanted to say that these are 100% our opinions. We're in no way, shape or form obligated to say anything. We're not getting paid to read out a script or anything along those lines. And we definitely wouldn't suggest that you guys spend your money on something that sucks. So again, completely honest opinions. And there's one more thing that we were supposed to do before the video starts. Hmm? Oh yeah, like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> so these are the Nixie Joy-Cons. And the first difference you're gonna notice about them is the shape. They have these built-in grips that make things far more ergonomic than crappy flat rectangles. Honestly, I don't know why Nintendo after all these years hasn't invested in making their own pair of Joy-Cons that look like this with a grip so that, you know, they actually fit in your hands nicely. That would make so much money, but whatever Nintendo, you do you. They probably feel closest to the Hori Split Pad Pro, I would say, which was one of our favorite brand of third-party Joy-Cons, but honestly, I think the Nixies might have taken over. Not only are they just as comfortable as the Hori's, but they're also packed with features, which is something that the Hori's lack. So we got the OLED but better versions of the Nixie Joy-Cons. So the white ones. But they do come in a whole variety of color options. We actually didn't want the white ones originally. We wanted these cool looking see-through plastic ones. But I don't know if they got mixed up in shipping or there was something lost in translation. Whatever, we ended up with these ones. We were sent them for free though, so we don't want to sound like we're complaining. We are really grateful, but I guess it's just something to know. Obviously on their website, you're not going to have this problem. We literally just emailed them and was like, I want that one. And then didn't get that one. I actually am a fan of the white ones though, so I'm not mad about it. They also have a couple of extra buttons on the back, the E, L button and M and T buttons. The T is for activating the turbo feature and the M is for mapping the back button. It also has a D-pad, which is always a plus for me. They both have a separate USB charging port on the bottom, but they do charge on the Switch, which honestly is a must-have. And the last and questionably the most useless feature is the Nixie Joy-Cons have an RGB ring light around the joystick. These can be fully customized and have a couple of different modes and colors that you can pick from. I personally couldn't care less about these RGB lights. Maybe I would have preferred them shave off a little bit of the price and just ditch the lights altogether. But Laura thinks they're really cool, so each to their own. But we all know it's not about what they look like. It's what's on the inside that matters. And what's most important about the Nixies is how they work. And they do work really well, actually. I'm pretty impressed. My favorite part about them is the fact that they're wireless which means that you can use them on or off your Switch if you're playing docked. This might seem like a small feature, but not all third-party Joy-Cons allow you to do that, and I feel like it just really improves the functionality of them. Like, you could actually replace your Joy-Cons with these, and you wouldn't have to go out and buy another Pro Controller or anything like that. Yeah, the Horis don't have that functionality, and really less than down, eh? These things also have rumble, baby, and like everything else on these Joy-Cons, you can customize it. So you're able to adjust how soft or how hard you want the vibration <laughs> features to be. Yeah? Well, you wrote it. Play more. She made me say it. <laughs> Sorry. You would have said it anyway. No! You would have said it. Ah. Anyways, you adjust this feature by holding down the turbo button and shaking the 3D key. Whatever that means. There's no 3D key anywhere on the diagram, so feel free to interpret it how you will. We assume it's the joystick. 
I actually tried like shaking the whole Joy-Con around. <laughs> I just said shake the 3D key, so. Key though. Yeah, but I don't know, man. There's no 3D key. <laughs> just shook the whole thing. I was like, cool. <laughs> I wish I saw that. And then the turbo activated. Ah, oh, it was just a big shimmer. <laughs> <laughs> So if there is one downside with the Joy-Cons, it's obviously the instructions. They're kind of confusing and not really well written and I couldn't follow them. I'm guessing whoever wrote them's first language isn't English and there's also some questionable English on the back of the box. So I guess we'll give them a pass. But they are more or less self-explanatory anyway, so you probably don't need instructions. Just press random buttons and you'd be right. I don't know, it sounded like you needed the instructions. <laughs> yeah, okay, I struggled. I will admit. Mm. It's classic man. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say. We're not stopping. I don't need the instruction. We're not we stopping to ask for directions, okay? We're not, to I don't know how to get there. <laughs> classic. Uh, damn it. So they do have fancy lights, extra buttons, turbo and rumble, but they don't have NFC support, which means you can't use your Amiibos, and they don't have infrared sensors. Honestly, this is pretty standard for third-party Joy-Cons. They never have NFC support, and they definitely never have infrared. But these ones are a little bit more on the pricey side, so some NFC support would have been nice. They are still cheaper than regular Nintendo Joy-Cons, though, which are about $84. A little bit ridiculous, if you ask me. These ones cost about $70, but they are currently on sale for $50, so if you're down, it might be a good time to pick them up. Tell them some kind of gaming sent you. All right, so now that it's all said and done and we've been through all the features, how would you actually rate them? Give them a score out of like 10. I reckon I would give them a solid nine out of 10. Pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good. They can't get a full 10 because they are missing some of the features that the Nintendo Joy-Cons have, but what they do have is pretty spot on. No, yeah, I agree. Yeah, the design, the comfort, the quality is really there, but what do you reckon? So for me, the biggest thing is the big hands. I always use a grip or a Hori controller. For me, they are the most comfortable ones that I've used so far, but honestly, the Nixies, this they're pretty up there. Right. Yep, if not bang on par. So they don't feel cheaply made, you can use them wirelessly. The only thing is that NFC Amiibo support. So if you use heaps of Amiibos all the time, then I guess maybe you'd have to reconsider, but I mean, I hardly use them at all. I think I've used them like a handful of times in my entire life. So I don't think I'm gonna drop them down a whole point for that. 9.5, I'm gonna give them a nine and a half. Mm -hmm. They really are the best third party Joy-Cons we've tried. I do agree. Yeah, I agree I with that. Honestly yeah. say they're the best ones we've tried. And Nixie sent them to us for free and said you're not obligated to say anything. So they had full confidence in their product. And That's true. I totally understand why. They are a really good product. Definitely recommend them. So there you go. If you have been looking for a Joy-Con alternative, then you definitely won't be disappointed with these ones. Thank you, Nixie, for sending us these controllers. We genuinely really love them. Thank you guys for watching this far if you are still here. Don't forget to like and subscribe for everything Nintendo related and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Does that what I do? Bye. Bye. <laughs> well, no, I mean, just, I don't bounce. Like but... I don't know. Fun. Have fun with it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>